Introducing the Rational Team Concert for IBM I Build Specification and Impact Analysis Demo. In this demo, you'll learn how to create and configure build specifications and check impact analysis. We'll start by creating a build specification. First, switch to the iProjects perspective. Right-click on the Source folder and open the Build Specification Editor. Use the Build Specification Editor to define the way files are built. Using the Build Specification Editor, you can specify the output object for each builder, for example, an RPGLE module when compiling RPGLE source, specify separate build commands for each input type, and add include and exclude filters. Click on the Builders tab. This is where you have builders for the different file types. Open the Build RPG Modules Builder and expand the inputs. Click to open the input file and you'll see that there are two options. You can process the list of source members or objects one at a time or as a group. Inputs also contain includes and excludes filters. The source library maps back to the build definition editor. Check the Jazz Source Control tab to see the load library it maps back to. In this case, all source files of member type RPGLE in the library will be included in the build. Any file or type included in the excludes filter will not be compiled for the build. The Command Sets option lets you specify the command to compile your inputs and any command set variables. Click the Command Sets tab. This is the command set for RPGLE. This is the command that is used to create the module to compile the RPGLE file. Another option is to run a command to create a module if the module doesn't already exist. Click on the Builders tab. The Service Program Builder has inputs. The input here is called a module. The second option is used to take a list of objects and provide that as a group input into a compile command. The input, called module, has an includes filter. Specify the library name, which maps back to the object library in the Build Definition Editor. Check the Jazz Source Control tab to see the object library it maps back to. For the SRV PGM command set, we need to specify some variables. Since the modules are compiled as a group, specific input and output variables need to be set. The variable ampersand module is a variable of type input, which refers back to the input list module. The output object name is specified by ampersand SRV PGM, which for our service program is MLG RPTS. Click on the Command Sets tab. This command set is for service programs. This is the command that is used to update a currently existing service program. It uses the variables ampersand module and ampersand SRV PGM. This is the command that is used to create a service program if it does not exist. Next we'll explain the process for checking impact analysis. To verify the impact of a change to a member, right-click the member and select Enterprise Extensions Impact Analysis. Select Show Files that this file depends on. This file does not depend on any other files. You can also determine the files that depend on this file. Select Show Files that depend on this file. For this file, you can see that four files depend on it. 
you can select one of them and then run an impact analysis on it and see the files that it depends on. If you make changes to any of these files and run a build, the files that also depend on the changed files will be built. Right-click on the file and select Enterprise Extensions Source Code Data Editor. All the dependency properties for the file are displayed. The dependency type, INCL, for include, means that it uses a copy file as a dependency. The dependency type USE means that it depends on an object. This concludes the Rational Team Concert for IBM I Understanding Build Specification and Impact Analysis demo. Visit us at www.jazz.net for more demos and information.